Хари Кришна, Дия Гуру Махарадж, Призах се право хамбала бизнеса, са в горе ще ще върхат пада. Хари Кришна, Хари Сема хамбала бизнеса, са в горе ще върхат пада. А Гуру Дев, а туди Матхури Лила Матаджи, Волфна Слейд. Окей. А я дам Матхури Лила Матаджи? Да, Хари Кришна. Окей, то. Today we are reading Sri Shopanisha, Mantra 7. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. So mantra seven, Sri Ishopanishad. Yasmin Sarvani Bhutani Atma Eva Bhutvijanata Tatrako Mohakashoka Ekadvamana Pashyati Yasmin Sarvani Bhutani Atmaiva Bhutva Janata Tatrako Mohakashoka Ekadvam Anupashyata All right, Madhuri Lil I'll have to read the English today because there's people here. Tr translation, one who always sees all living entities as spiritual sparks, in quality one with the Lord, becomes a true knower of things. What then can be illusion or anxiety for him? Today, the one who sees the living entities as spiritual sparks, in quality one with the Lord, Because the Lord sees all living entities as spiritual sparks, in quality one with the Lord, becomes a true knower of things. What then can be illusion or anxiety for him? Today, the one who sees the living entities as spiritual sparks, in quality one with the Lord, becomes a true knower of things. What then can be illusion or anxiety for him? Today, the one who sees the living entities as spiritual sparks, in quality one with the Lord, becomes a true knower of things. What then can be illusion or anxiety for him? Today, the one who sees the living entities as spiritual sparks, in quality one with the Lord, becomes a true knower of things. What then can be illusion or anxiety for him? Today, the one who sees the living entities as spiritual sparks, in quality one with the Lord, becomes a true knower of things. What then can be illusion or anxiety for him? Today, the one who She's giving Russian interest. I think you have to sit over there. Do you have to use the microphone? Um, is it? So no microphone. Is it? You don't bother. Check the Facebook. Mm, so you can go or something. So no, no microphone? Yeah, okay. Purport. <coughs> Except for the Madhyama Adhikari and Uttama Adhikari discussed above. No one can correctly see the spiritual position of a living being. The living entities are qualitatively one with the Supreme Lord, just as the sparks of a fire are qualitatively one with the fire. Yet sparks are not fire as far as quantity is concerned. For the quantity of heat and light present in the sparks is not equal to that in fire. The Mahabhagavat, the great devotee, sees oneness in the sense that he sees everything as the energy of the Supreme Lord. Since there is no difference between the energy and the energetic, there is a sense of oneness. Although from the analytical point of view, heat and light are different from fire, there is no meaning to the word fire without heat and light. In synthesis, therefore, heat, light and fire are the same. Yuzi, Chai Liu 
，正如大火中迸發出嘅火星。生物與至尊主在質上一樣，但從量上看，火星並不是大火，因為火星所散發出嘅光同埋熱不同於大火產生嘅光同熱。偉大嘅奉獻者，馬克巴嘅維達睇到一切都係至尊主嘅能量，係從呢個角度睇到一體性同一性。能量同埋能量嘅擁有者，兩者之間冇區別，因此有一體性同一性嘅概念。儘管從分裂嘅分析角度嚟睇，熱同光有別於火，但沒有光同熱，火呢個詞亦都冇意思。所以綜合地講，光熱同火係一樣。Is to help us to understand the spiritual position of the living entity. This mantra, then, is Saint Paul Bach explained to us. Is, ah, living entity and its spiritual position. 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 只不過嗰個大小、嗰、那個量唔同嘅啫。And the, the the living entity is compared to the spark, and the supreme lord is like the fire。生物體就好似火花咁，而呢個嘅至尊主咧就好似咧係一個大火球。So the, the the spark and the fire have similar qualities. 火,火花同大火球咧個品質一樣嘅，但係嗰個量又唔同，光同熱都唔同。So then Prabhupada talks about the Mahabhagavat's vision, how he sees everything as the energy of the Supreme Lord. 帕帕亦都解得一個偉大靈魂咧，馬哈巴格塔咧，佢睇一切都係神嘅能量。So the, the Lord is the energetic, and the living entities are the energy. 至尊主咧，佢系能量嘅拥有人啦，而呢个嘅生物体咧，佢就系呢啲能量。So they're 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 the same, but at the same time they're different. 所以与此同时系一样嘢，与此同时都系唔同嘅。So the living entity and the Lord are both spiritual beings, but there's a big difference between the living entity and the Lord. So, 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 In this mantra, the words "ekat vam anupashyataha" indicate that one should see the unity of all living entities from the viewpoint of the revealed scriptures. The individual sparks of the supreme whole, the Lord, possess almost eighty percent of the known qualities of the whole, but they are not. Quantitatively equal to the Supreme Lord, these qualities are present in minute quantity, for the living entity is but a minute part and parcel of the Supreme Whole. To use another example, the quantity of salt present in a drop is never comparable to the quantity of salt. Present in the ocean, but the salt present in the drop is qualitatively equal in chemical composition to all the salt present in the ocean. If the individual living being were equal to the supreme Lord, both qualitatively and quantitatively, there would be no question. Of his being under the influence 
of the material energy. In the previous mantra, it has already been discussed that no living being, not even the powerful demigods, can surpass the Supreme Being in any respect. Therefore, ekatvam does not mean that a living being is equal in all respect to the Supreme Lord. It does, however, indicate that in a broader sense there is one interest. Just as in a family the interest of all members is one, or in a nation the national interest is one, although there are many different individual citizens. Since the living entities are all members of the same Supreme Family, their interest and that of the Supreme Being are not different. Every living being is the son of the Supreme Being, as stated in the Bhagavad Gita. All living creatures throughout the universe, including birds, reptiles, ants, aquatics, trees and so on, are emanations of the marginal potency of the Supreme Lord. Therefore all of them belong to the family of the Supreme Being. There is no clash of interest. Chichinga 一滴海水的含盐量呢,永远能够同这个整个汪洋的含盐量呢,是相提并论的。也可能在任何一方面既然生物是同一个至高无上家庭中的成员all right, so Prabhupada is explaining to us how the living entities do not have all the qualities of the Supreme Lord, but they can have up to 80%. But although they may have the qualities like the Lord, they don't have them in the same quantity. The Lord has infinite quantity. The living entities have a very small quantity. 量和質的分別,生物體和量是很小的,而自然主義的量是很大的,所以生物體的質量是跟自然主義一樣的。And then we're given the example about salt in the water, in the ocean, there's salt water, so there's 
you take one drop from the ocean, it has some salt, has similar quality, same quantity, qualities as the ocean. 個例子咧就係啲鹽分啊，海水嘅鹽分咧同呢個一滴水咧，海水咧都係一樣嘅鹽分嗰個量嗰個分析，但係個量就唔同。And then we're told also that the living entities are all like members of the same family, and the Lord is the Father, and all the living entities are the children of the Lord. 另一個解釋咧，嗰、那個比例咧，比喻咧，就係好似個大大家庭，天主好似係爸爸媽媽咧，咁而呢啲嘅生物體就好似仔女。And we should have the common interest, just like in a family, all the members of the family are concerned for the welfare of the family. So the same way, all the living entities. Should be concerned for the welfare of other living entities. 就好似咧喺個家庭成員咧，佢哋會共同咧為家庭嘅利益着想啊。咁同樣嚟講，生物體同自然主咧，佢哋利益都係一樣。And this includes all living. This includes all living entities. So. Even the birds and the, the insects and the fish and the trees, they're all different kinds of living entities. So we want to see the oneness in that sense that everyone is part of the one family. 所以我哋睇到咧一體性啊，大家家庭裏邊無論大細咧，佢哋都有，都係一有有個共同利益一體性。So when we have the common interest, then people can live together peacefully and happily。如果我哋有共同利益嘅話咧，咁大家就會好和平共處啊。But if everyone has their own separate interests, everyone is an individual. And they think of their own interests and don't care about others, then they they will create a lot of problems. 但如果大家生物生活喺一齊，大家各顧各，大家都唔理對方或者大家自私嘅話咧，咁就好大問題啦。I was explaining to one devotee about how、uh, the the family. The fa that the the family interests are common for everyone. 我之前解釋咧，就係話一個家庭裏邊咧，佢哋家利益咧係大家共同嘅，大家都係啊為個家庭嘅。We're all the marginal potency of the supreme lord. 我哋每一位咧都係至尊主嘅邊際能量。So we have that free will. We can choose where we want to live. We want to live with the Lord, or we want to be separate from Him. So we have freedom. We have to choose between living with God or So if we live in Krishna consciousness, then everyone can work together and cooperate together. 如果我哋生活喺 Krishna 之國底下咧，咁我哋就可以互相合作咧，互相就係照顧啦。We put Krishna in the center. We don't put anybody else. In, we don't put our own self in the center. We keep Krishna in the center. And Krishna's in the center for everyone. 我哋大家生活嘅時候，將 Krishna 咧擺落我哋嘅思想嘅中心，唔係擺其他人。So this very important point, which we often speak about, but to actually apply this in our life is very difficult because we're so selfish. We'll read more. The spiritual entities are meant for enjoyment, as stated in the Vedanta Sutra. Ananda Maya Bhayasat. By nature, 
and constitution, every living being, including the Supreme Lord, and each of his parts and parcels is meant for eternal enjoyment. The living beings who are engaged in the material tabernacle are constantly seeking enjoyment, but they are seeking it on the wrong platform. Apart from the material platform, it's the spiritual platform where the Supreme Being enjoys himself with his innumerable associates. On that platform, there is no trace of material qualities and therefore that platform is called Nirguna. On the Nirguna platform, there is never a clash over the object of enjoyment. Here in the material world, there is always a clash between different individual beings because here the proper center of enjoyment is missed. The real center of enjoyment is the Supreme Lord who is the center of the sublime and spiritual rasa dance. We are all meant to join him and enjoy life with one transcendental interest and without any clash. That is the highest platform of spiritual interest. And as soon as one realizes this perfect form of oneness, there can be no question of illusion or lamentation. 正如维丹达第一章第一篇第十二个诗节讲啦，灵性生物嚟讲咧系，其实系为咗享乐嘅。Ananda mayo be a sad， 喺个生物体包括至尊主同埋佢嘅每一个微小部分，都系为咗永恒嘅享乐而存在嘅。被囚禁喺物质躯体中，嗰啲生物一直都喺度寻找快乐，但系却啊喺错误地嘅层面嗰度寻找。存在嘅除咗系物质层面里面有灵性嘅层面喺嗰度之上面咧，至尊嘅生物体同佢无数嘅同伴咧享受住佢自己，但系嗰个层面咧系冇丝毫物质嘅成分嘅，因此被称为呢一观啊。喺呢一觀嚟嘅層面之上咧，生物從來咧都唔會因為渴望啊，同一個享受對象而發生衝突嘅。喺呢個物質世界裏邊咧，由於享樂嘅真正嘅中心失去咗，不同嘅個體嘅靈魂之間咧就會有衝突啦。享樂嘅真正嘅中心就係至尊主，佢嘅崇高嘅靈性 rasa 嘅舞咧舞蹈咧係核心人物，所以。所有嘅生物體咧，都係與佢連接啦，帶住同佢一致嘅超然嘅興趣咧，享受呢個生活，冇抵觸同埋衝突。呢、这個就係最高最高層次嘅靈性嘅興趣嘅利益。人一旦認識到呢個完美嘅一層性咧，就不可能有錯覺同埋悲傷啦。So Shri Prabhupada is explaining to us the nature of material life, how we're trying to enjoy. Everyone's trying to enjoy. For themselves, 物質生涯就係咁噶啦，個個都係諗住自己去享受。So the problem is that we are trying to enjoy the body instead of the soul. 個問題咧就係我哋去享受呢個身體，唔係享受個靈魂。So you try to enjoy the body, you'll never be successful for very long. 你享受身体嘅时候咧，你唔会享受得好耐啊。So we have to come to the spiritual platform. We have to come up to that spiritual platform by having Krishna in the center. 所以我哋要提升自己去到灵性嘅层面啦，以 Krishna 为中心。On the material platform, we think of the body and the body's activities: eating, sleeping, mating, defending. 喺物质层面咧，我哋谂住嘅享乐咧就系饮食、睡眠、防卫、交配。So those things are also done on the spiritual platform. But the difference is they are done in Krishna consciousness. 
。呢啲活動咧，我哋奉獻者都做嘅，不過咧就喺 Krishna 知覺之中咧去做。Devotee will still eat, but he will eat prasadam. He will eat food offered to Krishna. 奉獻者都食嘢嘅，但係佢會食 prasadam 啦，佢會食一啲供奉過 Krishna 嘅嘢。The devotee will sleep because he has to use his body for the service of Krishna. 奉獻者都要瞓覺嘅，因為佢好好養好身體啦，嚟到服務 Krishna。And the devotee will defend what is Krishna's property, so he can use it for Krishna's service. Krishna, 奉獻者咧，亦都會係作一啲防衞咧，佢要為 Krishna 保護啲財產咧。And the devotee, the devotee can make to produce Krishna conscious children. 奉獻者亦都可以咧生產咧具有 Krishna 知覺嘅兒女嘅。So the activities are done on the spiritual platform. Not that we stop all activities, but we change the consciousness in which we perform the activity. So these kind of activities, the devotees do. But not on the spiritual level. They do it 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 on the spiritual level. So the devotee can experience spiritual pleasure, not just some material pleasure. 奉獻者佢經驗咧就係靈性嘅喜樂啊，唔係單單物質嘅。The devotee is very conscious to utilize everything for Krishna. 奉獻者佢意識知覺好高嘅，佢用利用一切咧嚟到服務 Krishna。In the same way, the materialist is very conscious to utilize everything for his sense gratification. 反之咧，物质主义者咧，佢亦都好知觉主义，但系佢利用一切咧嚟到服务自己。So the the idea of oneness is there in the sense of oneness in service to Krishna. 所以我哋都有一个一体性嘅。合一嘅感覺嘅，不過咧就係利用一切嘢嚟服務 Krishna。So Shri Prabhupada continues, a godless civilization arises from illusion, and the result of such a civilization is lamentation. A godless civilization such as that sponsored by the modern politicians. Is always full of anxieties because it may be crushed at any moment. This is the law of nature, as stated in Bhagavad Gita. No one but those who surrender at the lotus feet of the Supreme Lord can surpass the stringent laws of nature. Thus, if we wish to get rid of all sorts of illusion and anxiety. And create unity out of all diverse interests. We must bring God into all our activities. Papa 继续讲啦，不信神嘅文明由呢个错觉导致嘅。呢种文明嘅结果就系人人都好悲伤。由现代嘅政治家发起嘅不信神嘅文明咧，因为有可能随时被毁灭啊，所以总系令人充满忧虑、焦焦虑嘅。呢个就系自然法律啦。《博加凡歌》第七章十四節講啦，只有歸依喺至於主嘅奉獻者嘅人，先至可以戰勝自然定律嘅力量。因此，如果我們想要咧擺脱所有種類嘅錯覺同埋焦慮咧，將各種不相信嘅興趣同埋利益導向一致咧，我哋就要必須將神咧帶入我哋嘅一切活動。So the people today are very godless. They don't like to hear about God. They don't like to hear about religion. They like to encourage atheism. These 无神论者咧，佢哋唔中意听神嘅，佢哋就系想无神论嘅。And if they do believe in God, they think of the God in terms of their own identity. They think they have a Russian God. 
how do, there's an Amer the Americans think they have an American God, the African people they have the African God. 就算佢哋信神咧，佢哋對神嘅觀念都係錯嘅。誒、呃，美國人以為有美國神啦，印度人以為有印度神啦。The godless civilization is a sign of the Kali Yuga. We're trying to we're trying to bring God into the society, into the civilization. We want to change the face of the planet. 所以咧，呢、这個卡利年代咧，啲人就係無神論嘅。我哋嘅使命咧，就係將呢個文化改變啊，變成有神論。Because the civilization is godless, so there's so much anxiety at every moment. There are so many problems. 呢個無神論嘅文明啊，文化就引致好多焦慮啊，好多嘅。問題嘅。So how to stop this godless civilization? Srila Prabhupada refers us to the Bhagavad Gita. 點樣去阻？點樣去阻止呢個文化咧？佛家梵歌咧第七章，啪啪咁講。There, Lord Krishna says. Just surrender unto me. Daviheshe gunamai mama maya duradhyaya. Mameva ye prapadyante mayami tam tarantite. The material nature is very difficult to overcome. But if we surrender to Krishna, we can easily cross beyond it. 呢个狮子咧，第七章第十四个狮子系讲咧，物质自然呢一个力量好强横嘅。只有係歸依啦、臣服啦、至尊主嘅蓮花足嘅人咧，先至可以對抗嘅。All right, we'll read some more. The results of our activities must be used to serve the interests of the Lord and not for any other purpose. Only by serving the Lord's interest can we perceive the Atma Buddha interest mentioned herein. The Atma Buddha interest mentioned in this mantra, and the Brahma Buddha interest mentioned in Bhagavad Gita, are one and the same. The supreme Atma or soul is the Lord Himself, and the minute Atma is a living entity. The supreme Atma or Paramatma alone. Maintains all the individual minor beings, for, for the supreme Lord wants to derive, wants to derive pleasure out of, out of, out of their affection. The father extends himself through his children and maintains them in order to derive pleasure. <coughs> If the children obey the father's will, family affairs will run smoothly, with no, with with one interest and a pleasing atmosphere. The same situation is transcendentally arranged in the absolute family of the para brahman, the supreme spirit. 我哋读落去啦，我哋必须用活动嘅结果咧，系取悦至尊主嘅。而不是其他目的嘅，只有讓至尊主滿意咧，我哋先能夠明白呢個師節中裏邊講嘅靈靈性存在阿瑪布塔嘅利益。喺呢節詩談到靈性嘅存在嘅利益，喺《薄伽梵歌》第十八章五十四個詩節，與絕對真理合一，布瑪布塔嘅利益係一樣嘅。至高無上嘅靈魂阿瑪係就係至尊主本人，微小嘅靈魂就係個別生物體，至高無上嘅靈魂超靈帕拉瑪瑪。獨自一個維係住所有微小嘅靈魂，因為至尊主想從佢哋嘅感情中攝取快樂。父親透過自己嘅孩子呻吟自己，係為咗享受天倫之樂而養育佢哋。如果孩子們孝順、順從咧父親嘅意願，家庭事務就會順利進行，大家嘅興趣利益都係一致，家庭氣氛就會係好愉快。同樣道理
喺至尊灵魂帕拉密玛嘅大大家庭里边咧，所做一切超然安排都系一样。So Prabhupada is quoting the Bhagavad Gita in the 18th chapter. Krishna is saying that one who has come to the platform of Brahman, then he's a joyful soul. 咁，泡泡引咗十八章五啊四个诗节咧，就系话一个人咧嚟到呢个梵国嘅时候咧，佢就会好快乐噶啦。Brahmaputra。The platform. Yes. Yes. What? You lost Madhurya Lila. Uh huh. Yes. Ah, okay. Ah, that was that was okay. Okay. All right. So the platform of Brahman means to understand we're not the body. We're understanding that we're part of the Supreme Lord. 凡嘅层面就意思即系话我哋系生物体啦，我哋系灵魂啦，我哋同至尊主有关系。So the relationship between the Lord and the living entities is like that between the father and the children. 我哋同至尊主嘅关系就好似咧系父子嘅关系。阿妈都知冇事做啫，嗰啲布，嗰啲 Krishna， 你听唔听得到？我唔听得到，因为之前嘅话，我哋讲到布。So Prabhupada describes how in the family it's important for the children to cooperate with the father. Prabhupada 解释咧，一个家庭里边咧，呢个仔女要同爸爸妈妈合作咧，好重要嘅。So in the same way, on the on the absolute platform, it's important for all the living entities to cooperate with the laws of Lord of the Supreme Lord. 喺絕對嘅層面嚟講咧，靈魂咧同呢個至尊靈魂咧係合作，亦都好重要。Of course, we have to know what is the desire of the Supreme Lord, and then we have to cooperate with that. 咁點樣合作咧？就係首先你要知道至尊靈魂嘅利益啦，佢嘅興趣喺邊度咧？ All right, we just read the last paragraph here. The para Brahman is as much a person as the individual living entities. Neither the Lord nor the living entities are impersonal. Such transcendental personalities are full of transcendental bliss, knowledge, and life eternally. That is the real position of spiritual existence. And as soon as one is fully cognizant of this transcendental position, he at once Surrenders unto the lotus feet of the supreme being, Sri Krishna. But such a mahatma or great soul is very rarely seen, because such transcendental realization is achieved only after many many births. Once it is attained, however, 
there is no longer any illusion or lamentation. Are the miseries of material existence, our birth and death, which are all experienced in our present life. This is the information we get from this mantra of Sri Ishopanishad. 我哋讀最後一段。至尊靈魂咧就好似普通嘅靈魂，都係一個人嚟嘅。至尊主咧同生物都不具，都唔係不具有人格特徵嘅，係呢個超然嘅人物。充滿咗超然嘅極樂啦，知識啦，永恆嘅生命，呢、这個就係靈性存在嘅真實嘅狀態。人一旦完全認識到呢個超然嘅狀態，就會立即歸依投靠或者係神服至尊生物聖主 Krishna 嘅蓮花燭。但呢個偉大咁樣嘅偉大靈魂馬克馬係好罕有嘅，因為呢個超然嘅覺悟只有經歷過好多好多生世之後先至得到嘅。然而一旦得到個超然嘅覺悟，就再冇錯覺啦、悲傷啦、物質嘅存在嘅痛苦啦、生死啦等等咧，喺我哋而家生活嘅經驗嘅一切，呢、这個就係我哋從《至尊奧義書》呢、这個師字得到嘅信息。So we have to understand the significance of this relationship. Between the living entity and the Lord. 我哋要明白咧，凡靈咧同埋呢個至尊主咧嗰個嘅關係。The one common misunderstanding is people think that the supreme is just simply energy. 一般人錯嘅瞭解就以為咧係神咧就係得能量嘅啫。We had one young lady coming here the other day. She was sitting in front of the deities and doing、uh, silent meditation. And so I asked her, "What are you doing?" She said, "I just want to feel the energy." 咁有個女士咧嚟到呢度咧喺神像面前喺度冥想啦。我問佢做乜，佢話我要感受下神嘅能量啊。So I asked her, "Where is the energy coming from?" She said, "From Krishna." I asked, "What energy is coming from Krishna?" She said, "From Krishna." And so I told her, "Yes, you're right." I said, "Now you should chant Hare Krishna. You know everything's coming from Krishna, so you should chant the name of Krishna." You know everything's coming from Krishna, so you should chant the name of Krishna. I said, "You know everything's coming from Krishna, so you should chant the name of Krishna." You know everything's coming from Krishna, so you should chant the name of Krishna. 要認識 Krishna 咧，就唔係淨係佢嘅能量。So Prabhupada is referring to the verse in the Bhagavad Gita how people uh, uh, by the path of knowledge then they come to understand also the supreme。咁 Prabhupada 解釋咧，《波伽梵歌》講咧一個人，如果佢係學習知識嘅話咧，佢會知道咧，最終嚟講係。至尊人格守神嘅。The Bhagavad Prabhupada is paraphrasing the verse from the Bhagavad Gita, where Lord Krishna says, "By the path of knowledge, one can come to understand the supreme." 再講一次咧，帕帕解釋咧，喺《薄伽梵歌》裏邊咧，如果我哋去收集呢個知識嘅路途嘅話咧，咁會瞭解到咧係至尊人格守神。But this path takes many, many births. It's a very slow path. 但係呢個知識之途啊，同知識嘅途徑嘅話咧，係要好多生世嘅。And it's also very rare that anyone ever comes to the perfection of that knowledge. 同埋都係好艱難嘅。唔係好多人可以達到嘅呢個境界，呢、这個覺悟。So we're to, we're encouraged that if you simply take to the path of devotion, you can immediately understand the supreme。所以我哋嘅建議咧就係話，你不如唔好行呢條路啦，你行呢個奉愛嘅路啦，你好快又覺悟到至尊主嘅。
And then there will be no problem, no illusion, no anxiety. 咁之後咧，你會發覺咧，好多問題都解決啦，好似煩惱啊、痛苦啊。All right, so we'll stop here. Now we'll ask if there's some questions. 我哋講到呢度有冇問題？ To give the, we have to look uh, longer. You can't just um, just judge immediately. You have to see what they're doing. 
what is the purpose behind their actions. And we have to understand more carefully everything. Anyway, the sons of Maharaj Sagar, they had committed an offence and so the result was they were burnt to ashes. Тем не менее, сыновья Махараджи Сагары совершили оскорбление и из-за этого были сожжены. It, it, it says that the sons of Maharaj Sagar, they dug up the air. Они перекопали всю землю. Was it the sons of Saga? They dug up the earth, right? They were searching for the horse. And they dug up the earth. So she's asking why they dug up the earth? Why they just had to make so many. Uh, well, the sons of Maharaj Sagar, they're not necessarily very elevated. They were they made a great offense because they 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 they, they, <coughs> they thought Kapila had stolen the horse which their father was going to sacrifice. And so they had anger towards Lord Kapila. And because of their anger they all got burned to ashes. <coughs> And so we're warned against offense against the against the Lord or his devotees. We're warned how dangerous it is. You must be very careful. So this story teaches us that we should be careful could all be Everything which is in Srimad Bhagavatam, they have, must have some special significance. So we can understand that uh, the importance of how we have to deal very carefully with the Lord and His devotees. Bhagavatam出現的故事和人物都有它的重要性的。咁呢個故事就教訓我們呢,就一定要好小心呢去 when we also learn about how the Ganges came down to earth, 
and how it's so powerful it could the waters could liberate all of these sons of Saga. 咁呢個故事亦都講到咧，係呢個恆河點樣去降臨呢個地球咧，係淨化所有人啦，包括咧係沙格王咧嗰啲嘅兒子嘅冒犯。有冇其他問題咧 ？What was the other What was the other question from last week？ 上星期講有個問題嘅。Так вот следующий означает ли это что любые действия допустимы для получения необходимых результатов？ Hare Krishna， 我都是是，我是，我是，我是，我是，我是，我个问题咧就喺边度有经典嘅描述关于耶稣基督嘅降世系？救救呢個世人咧，佢話我都唔知，我聽過話喺啲普拉納喺啲宇宙故事裏邊係可能係有咁嘅描述，但係我都唔係好清楚。咦？咁啊，有冇其他問題咧？有冇其他問題咧？
Well, we have to live in the world. We have to live with all the other people. If you make yourself very different from them, then you'll be very difficult to live in the world. People will look at you that you're something uh, that you, you're so different from them. So it will be very difficult to preach to them. Come influence them more towards Krishna consciousness. Okay. Okay. understand how much you're attracted to chant Hare Krishna. How much are you committed to Krishna consciousness? Are you serious about hearing the the, the scriptures, are you serious about associating with devotees? Come on, Monte, let me tell you about the link in 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 so the faith, the faith should be there. Some faith should be in associating and practicing. There should be some faith, commitment to the process. So we need to have faith. In the process, we need to have faith. In the process, we need to have faith. Uh, in, order, in order to get closer to Lord Chaitanya, 
uh, we first should get the mercy of Advaita Acharya. So the question is how to get mercy of uh, Advaita Acharya. Well, I don't think I said Advaita Acharya. I think I said get the mercy of Lord Nityananda. ก็มันทันใจมันอยู่ก็อยู่ตัวตัวคือจะช่วยท่านเหยียดกันยันฉีเลยอยู่จะอยู่ตัวตัวตัวท่านเหยียดฉีเลยก็มันที่มันตัว
thank you. No more questions? Okay, so then we'll stop here today. Okay, we thank, thank Madhuri Lila for translation and thank the devotees for participation. So today is a courtesy here. Are you having a courtesy there today? Yes. Okay, so have a nice courtesy. See you next week. Hare Krishna. Shri Prabhupada Jai. Jai. Okay. Hari Bhakti. Hari Krishna.